Hi, it's Doug Holt with Author of Your Own Story. And in today's episode, we're going to revisit one of our most popular daily growth hacks. So grab your notebooks and remember, the key to success is doing the work. Let's get started. Today's topic, start with a fresh slate. Hi, I'm Doug Holt with Author of Your Own Story, and this is your daily growth hack, where each day we give you a tip, trick, or insight to help you up-level what we call the 5-2 Thrive. That is your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and your business. I actually heard this from years ago from a friend, Robert Kitson, and Robert actually was an entrepreneur along with myself. And one of the things that he told me that really resonated with me, and it still does today, was actually when you look at somebody who's doing construction, they always put their tools away at the end of the day. No matter what they're doing, they put their tools away in an organized fashion and close their day out. So why don't we as business owners? Well, this was a great question. And especially if you're an entrepreneur, like I always say I'm organized chaos, right? I have stuff all over the place. And if you ever get a chance to go to my office um, or if you're working with me remotely or even in my sprinter van when I'm camping, I know where everything is. But if you're an OCD person, you're gonna go nuts in my office. I got stuff everywhere. So one thing that's that's helped me a lot is actually cleaning up the night before. Look, at the end of the day, I'm the most tired, right? I've, I've given my most to my business or to my family or whatever else is going on. But by going through my office or wherever else, I also do this in my living room, my living space, and cleaning up and tidying up the night before, when I wake up, when I have the most energy, the most focus, I have a clean slate, a clean palette with which to work. And I'm going to suggest that you do this too, especially if you're an entrepreneur. If you're an entrepreneur, things are crazy. You are going full, full speed all the time, especially with a new business, bringing a product to market. Having a clean slate starts from scratch. Otherwise, your mind is just focused on so many little things. Here's a trick even more that I've helped. If you have multiple businesses like I do, one of the things that I do is I actually clean my slate and then I have a folder that I put out on my desk the night before that actually has all the information and stuff that I need for that project or business that I'm working on the next day in that folder. So I come, simply open it up, and then I have my organized chaos inside that folder, but the rest of my office is clean and natural, right? I still have glasses around that I brought in that morning, you know, coffee for me. Uh, as well as water. But overall, it's actually really organized and nice. And this is a far cry from what it used to be 10, 15, maybe even five years ago, where I would just have organized chaos, just piles around. I mean, I knew what were in those piles, but I didn't start with a clean slate. And when I do start with a clean slate, I am that much more productive. My brain space, the subconscious space, and and, and this is talked about uh, in several productivity books, right? Several pr- productivity books talk about the way to organize your to-do list or task list. That your subconscious brain is always taking in your environment. And so having a clean space and starting with a clean space each morning is gonna give you more brain power, more creative juice and energy to actually start and push through in your projects. So regardless if you're a business owner or you're working for somebody else or you're a stay-at-home parent, Cleaning your space is critical. I can almost guarantee that if you do this, you're gonna find, just like making your bed, you're gonna find that actually not only do you feel better, but you actually have more energy and more space with which to create. And that is a huge part of being the author of your own story. That's it for me today. As always, remember, share this with three people that you wanna start bigger conversations with, building your tribe. Make sure to do that. Don't hesitate, use your five second rule and do it now. Have a great day. Remember, go out and be the author of your I hope you enjoyed today's daily growth hacks. Please put your comments right down below and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these daily growth hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.